just got a ride from Dr. Phil uh, back to the trailhead. So I'm gonna put some miles in, it's nice out. He talked about it being cold enough to snow out. So we'll see um, how that goes tonight and uh, see if I can download videos from here on out. Well, it's a beautiful day. It's breezy, sunny, and probably around 50. Um, it's not supposed to be much warmer this week, but it did on the news talk about getting warmer towards the weekend. Um, so that'll be nice. Still cool nights. And again, the guy I just rode with um, talked about snow tonight, so we'll see. But uh, just relaxing walk today. I'm not gonna try to get in too many miles. Um, Resupply went okay. I did definitely pack out more food than I have before. A lot of it trail mix. And uh, went to Hardy's this morning for breakfast. So you got a meal in today already. That's nice. And just gonna see if uh, what the day brings. The trail's just down there, 30, 40 yards. But I wanted to come up here because I saw these uh, steps going up this ladder tree. And it looks like this tree stand has been there for quite a while. Um, at least the uh, platform part and the stairs. The tree's growing right around it and someone's got a nice little stand for their, I think this is state land must be, state game land. It's permissible to hunt. It's not, I don't think it's private property. But I just had to check out the tree stand for my hunting folks. I'm assuming there's gonna be even better view when we get up here a little bit. And the shelter's not too far, I'm gonna take a rest. It's, I guess about maybe eight to eight miles in, maybe 10. We're at the uh, shelter. Love, I just met on trails up there. He started on the like 20th of March and killing some miles. This is a view. I'm about probably just going to get up in this wood line or tree line here and find a place to camp. I was telling uh, Point Man, he said, I went to a Mexican restaurant right next to Food Lion last night while I did my shopping at Food Lion. Went over to get some Mexican for dinner. And I was saying the, uh, one of the guys, the only guy sitting at the bar next to me, apparently works there and started playing pool. We picked up some pool games and played and we shut the place down and everybody left and he continued to buy pool games and to pour shots of tequila and he kept going tequila power so that's why i'm not going very much further today and i gotta learn um i feel fine it's just i'm not going to kill myself either bluebird kind of day so i just passed the group that stayed at wood woods hole hostel um that were upstairs with me there was one two three i think four or five of them like two boys and three girls <clears throat> and uh mostly in their 20s or mid 20s something like that but then hiking together and they're slack packing today doing 28 miles so they're actually going south i'm going north but they're going to pick back up the trail it's probably about 20 miles ahead now or maybe yeah close to 18. i'm not doing 18 today so they're going to be ahead of me for a while the tree line turned into four more miles in another hour and a half. Um, i've been kind of searching for a spot it's a little bit breezy Miss storms I don't have much to shelter me from the wind but I think I'm gonna set up right here and uh, enjoy this view sewing kit out sewing kit multi-tool blew out a flip-flop 
on. Gotta fix it so I have some camp shoes. And I'm gonna do a little sewing. I don't know if you can see down here, but I got a little hole in the mesh of my tent that I'm gonna do next. So camp early and then doing some fix it, some some chores around the house. sewing kit out and the scissors came in handy. Fixed up my tent and uh I have another spot up there that I'm gonna get later, but for now, I didn't want that ripping any further, so gonna enjoy the view. It looks like there's some weather coming in. So secure the tent down a little bit tighter and uh you know, relax for a little while, have some dinner. It's gonna be a little chilly out. It's um dinner time though. So this is the kitchen. Well, this is the dining room. And I'm about to eat. I have some mashed potatoes and beef. Um, and I got a surprise for my subscribers later because I'm going to post a short about some killer hiker food. Um, so you guys should watch that. So something's going on with the GoPro. Just like turns off whenever it wants now. I don't know what's going on with it. There you go, pro, if you're working. It's like noon, the weather's kind of cleared. It's a little bit drier now. And uh, we're gonna at least do seven miles to get some water. And that's pretty much where we're gonna start our day. So thank you again for following along. I have two new subscribers. Thank you, Jason Abaddon. You should've been following a long time ago um, when we met up in Gatlinburg, and uh, I don't know who the other one is yet. I have to, yet to, to capture who that is. So, um, welcome to the channel, and we'll be hiking today. I didn't even see it. Groundhog Trail, sugar. Nope. How about this one over here? Allegheny Trail, 3.9. Pine Swamp Shelter 6.7, so we're at least going that far. Um, there should be water at the shelter or near it. All right, I think it was a good idea to wait till the weather cleared. My tent sort of dried out. I didn't have to get anything wet. Um, and it's gonna be nice to set up later. So what do you guys think? Is better off to wait? Or should I have got out early? Still got eight hours of hiking in. It was out at noon, so I got to eight o'clock. Look at these billy goat gruffs. They scared the shit bejesus out of me. Hey, what are you guys doing? Huh? These guys are wild, wild animals. I go to locals again. Okay, okay, no more licks. Looks like we have Pine Swamp Shelter is only 2.5 and looks like the Allegheny Trail is a yellow blaze that way. 315 miles. Alright, let's go to the shelter get some water. It may not look like much but Hot mac and cheese with beef brisket on a cold rainy day is outstanding. So we're gonna have lunch and then move on to the next shelter, maybe even a little bit further. All right, just finished lunch uh, at the shelter, the closest one to me. Had some macaroni and cheese and beef brisket, which is absolutely delicious and much needed on a cold day. I'm gonna put my gloves back on here in a minute. I still have my, uh, my base layer my hiking shirt and my coat on and I've been hiking in that all morning. Uh, I'm gonna do another four or five miles uh, past the next shelter and set up camp. It's still only like 3.30 maybe, four o'clock, so I've got plenty of time. Warm my body up and then set up. I did dry out my tent too, so that was nice. Got some water. So after the last couple of weeks, I've really had to come to terms with my timeline 
my budget and you know the purpose of this uh, journey you know is to complete this trail and be at the top of Mount Katahdin before I have to go back to school or have to start work again um, you know and when you start looking at the amount of days I have left and the amount of miles that I have to put in I don't want to I want to say this it, yes it, I have to get up and do it every day um, but it's because I want to and, uh, and it's just like whether it's trying to achieve climbing a mountain or trying to uh, get that you know dream job you want or whatever goal you might have set for yourself it's about getting up and doing something to work towards it every day you know and avoiding all the nonsense that uh, distracts you or would deter you from reaching that goal and that's really what the trail is teaching me you know is that I have to stay focused and have to be diligent and you know and, and plan um, even though I'm not really like looking at the map often I know I have to get miles in and you know the other thing is I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna enjoy it as well so you know whether it's sleeping in today and avoiding kind of the inclement weather that I talked about but now it's uh, nice nice enough to put in some miles and I have to catch up and make up for kind of what I lost yesterday again I'm looking to average about 18 to 20 miles a day to finish near August 1st. Uh, Bailey Gap Shelter 1.1 Jefferson National Forest. Um, welcome to camp. It is uh, 744. I've made it to mile 663 and uh, set up camp. I haven't eaten yet. It started the day cold and wet and it is ending it very similar to the same. So um, I'm bundled up, snuggled up, and just gonna make some dinner and then uh, get in the bag and hang, hang out. Hope for better weather. Beef brisket, mashed potatoes, and a little cheese for dinner, some hot sauce and pepper. We broke camp for today. Um, I am trying to do about 15 to 18 to 20 miles, somewhere in there. It looks relatively easy. But it is still pretty cold out. There's some sun on some of uh, the hills behind us, but still rolling clouds. So we'll see what happens today. It's like we're entering Mountain Lake Wilderness. Wind Rock Overlook, places to explore, Potts Rail Trail, Mountain Lake, Appalachian Trails, Warspur Overlook, White Rocks Campground. Maybe a couple of them. A camera on trail of sorts. I don't know if that's exactly what this is. It doesn't look like it's been used in some time. Whatever it is. <clears throat> it's locked. I don't know. Maybe it is a camera. If it is, I got you on camera too. A couple of days are going to be a lot of this just this like woods walking uh so you might not see a lot of video i'm saving some uh, space on my card too for beginning and ending of days and hopefully something exciting that comes up i'm not quite sure what kind of ferns they are but if you had some interest in eating them there's a bunch around uh turn on my wi-fi or phone off of airplane mode and check some things and I had a couple messages one was a from my supervisor at school um, asking how things were going so uh, Mr. Stewart if you're watching thank you for reaching out I appreciate that um, sorry I don't have great service and I don't have a lot of opportunity to uh, answer those messages but you know I hope to uh, be reunited with you guys back at school in September and uh, like I said looking at a completion date August 1st as long as I keep up my mileage and um, looking forward to being back with our kids and teaching at school sharing some of the experiences that I had on the trail would be awesome we for a shelter for lunch and then next we're heading to Bailey Gap shelter so we're gonna take a break here for a minute hopefully the sun comes Laurel Creek shelter 5.9 that's where we're going that's north Bailey Gap's south
Just walked right up on a deer. He was standing right over here. So, I don't know how far you guys can see down there, but this is all a mud pit. I'm not about to deal with this right now. I so got the best of me. My left foot is definitely wet and muddy. So uh, get to the shelter and dry out. Heading up there. Abandoned Appalachian log cabin. It makes you wonder who was up here and what were they doing? How long ago? 